Hola, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Welcome, Dustin. And uh, this video is going to be about Link, because me and Dustin, we are both great fans of Link. We will introduce each other and then talk about everything you need to know for Link. So you can use it to learn your language on this wonderful platform. That's the idea. Hello, YouTube. Today, I want to present to you Max from Max Learns Persian and more. He's a Dutch teacher from the Netherlands, who is also an avid language learner and speaks himself multiple languages. And after having learned Dutch as his mother tongue, of course, because he's from the Netherlands, he quickly picked up English and got it to a pretty advanced level, so to a very high level. And then after having spent some time in Spain, he also learned Spanish to a very high level. So um, those are his three strongest languages, of course. And he's also learning French and German at an intermediate level by now. And right now, as the name of his channel already suggests, he's also learning Parsi. He's at an upper beginner level there and yeah so this is a very complex language and i'm always looking forward to his videos about that so make sure <laughs> to subscribe to him <laughs> thank you so today we're going to talk about our favorite language learning application called link as you all know and uh, first of all a quick recap what it is and how we use it so yeah, Link is an application, as you know, available for smartphones and tablets or also in every regular web browser on a computer yeah. or laptop, for example. And um, yeah, it allows you to read and to listen to content in order to assimilate a foreign language. And currently there are over, I think, over 40 languages available, um, but the offer gets extended continuously. Like recently there has been added Swahili as the first African language, for example. And the word link refers to a word that you stumble upon while reading content, which you haven't encountered before and which you didn't know so far. So this gets saved then and turns from blue, like unknown, to yellow, which is link. And all the words you already know aren't marked. So those are just black on white. Nice, great. Yeah, I completely agree. And I could add as well that what link does that other apps do not do is it tries to incorporate everything that already exists on the internet. So other apps only have their own content, for example, most of the other apps, or they use their own translation functions and things like that. But Link actually uses the translators that are already out there and the content that is already out there and just uh, is a system to, to make sure that you get better understanding that content that's already out there. And um, it also, um, uh, apart from reading and listening, it also has a, a, an option to practice writing and speaking using the tutors or language, this thing called language correction, where you can write your own text, upload it and other people correct it for you, uh, sometimes for free. So that's also um, a great function. And uh, it also incorporates a few other language learning techniques, like you can work on flashcards or play language, uh, language matching um, games where you have to match the word in your native language with the word and language you're learning and, and things like that. So pretty much everything in one. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't, couldn't add one, anything there. Say. So it's all about it's all about the content. So the, all the, the the whole platform is built around consuming massive amounts of comprehensive or comprehensible and compelling input. And that would be also the next point. So how, how does it actually work and why are we doing that now? So, so in school, we learn that in order to get fluent in a language, we first need to know its structure, the grammar rules and lots of vocabulary. And then we consciously, consciously use that to speak and write. And this is also called in scientific terms, the skill building hypothesis. But to do that, you need to spend a tremendous effort and lots of energy while it can be really boring and daunting. And for some people it's working, but for the majority of people, not. And I mean, when you speak in your mother tongue, you are not consciously thinking about grammar and rules and stuff. And still you are able to produce flawless sentences and complex phrases, right? Grammar isn't a bad thing, but we probably shouldn't put all our focus on it. And there links, link comes into play, which is an app that helps you to learn and understand a foreign language first through reading and listening. And it's based on the comprehension hypothesis by Stephen Creshen, uh, yeah. which says that through the consumption of language in spoken and written form, we slowly assimilate it. And so the content needs to be comprehensible 
that we can understand it, that it's at the right level for us to be understood and compelling, which means it's interesting for us that we don't lose the motivation because language is a marathon, not a sprint, and we need to spend lots of hours with the language. What what Link also does, I think, is it, um, it reflects the nature of that process. So where other books, let's say grammar books in a traditional approach, um, reflect the traditional approach, of course. So they, each chapter is about one topic, and then it goes to the next chapter, and the words from the pre previous chapter are not repeated, or not purposefully, at least. Yeah. So you move from, let's say, the words about housing, to words about gardening, to words about, uh, let's say, going to the doctor. And it's, uh, the idea is that you memorize the words, learn the rules, and then you build up on that to go to the next one. So the, the books reflect the, the traditional skill building approach where you have one skill, you move to the next skill, etc. And uh, Link uh, reflects the approach that the approach that you just explained, the natural, um, the natural, more natural approach or input uh, based hype approach, where actually uh, you don't memorize stuff and you don't get familiar with one thing when you are moving to the next, but actually through um, content content uh, to contact sorry with different content you slowly get familiar with the different rules and words uh, in the natural order of things so instead of a chosen a, a chosen order that the book follows you actually can learn things in your own order or whatever falls for you in the right place is exactly what should fall in the right place at that moment and um, uh, you can also uh, in that system you can choose your own content so instead of uh, moving to housing after gardening, maybe you want to learn something about sports and you can just do that yourself. And uh, uh, Link therefore also is exactly what Steve Kaufman is, which is a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit more random, I would say, a little bit more based on his own interests, right? So instead of following a structure, you build your own structure, but of course, uh, that's not enough. You cannot do completely random things because then you're not learning anything. So what Link tries to do is tr it tries to track what you are doing so you can afterwards see how you are progressing. And that's very motivating. So it does that, for example, with uh, statistics. So it shows you how many hours you've read, how many hours you've listened. And it shows you how many words you've read, how many words you've understood, etc. Right? Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. And uh, what I would also add, uh, the natural order that you already mentioned, that's something that there's not just one natural order, but the natural order is different for everyone. Not yeah. only, it not only depends on which languages you are already speaking or which language is your mother tongue, um, but also where you live and which, uh, which interests you have and stuff. So that gets highly influenced and it's hard to put that into a curriculum. curriculum. So, um, that's where Link yeah. also shines. So Dustin, actually, how did you start using Link and how are you using it? So after we learned uh, English completely without Link, the normal school approach, right? And then uh, consuming lots of content, but without knowing that there's something like that, like Link, and uh, then spending time also in, in England and in, in the US uh, and working in English, I, I was really, um, I really needed to learn that language. So it, it some, somehow happened, but then French, I, I failed very much at school. So com okay. I failed completely actually. I was the worst one in the class. And that's, <laughs> that, that, that's true, so really. <laughs> and after uh, after that experience, uh, I still want to learn learn French then nowadays, because I was like, yeah, if, if I couldn't do it then, maybe, maybe I can do it now. I, I want to prove it to myself. So I started to learn French, but very unstructured, right? Because I didn't know how to learn a foreign language. So very unstructured. I, I tried out different apps, different things, and I- All learned... over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I learned some stuff, but not really, right? And, and so it got better. And then I also tried to start speaking, but I just wouldn't understand it. I really, really had a hard time. And then I stumbled upon Link. I don't know. I don't know actually where I found it, to be honest. But I started learning with, with Link then, and I really noticed that I, that I started to understand and that my comprehension went up and that I could really understand more and more complex stuff. Uh, and that's, that's kind, of, kind, of, kind of magic then that, that to me happened. Yeah. And also, also with, with the statistics, I could see that I was making progress, even though at some point 
it doesn't feel like you're making progress. Sometimes it feels like you're getting worse day by day even, right? You have weeks right. where you think, what the fuck? I've spent hundreds of hours and I, I, I don't know nothing. And um, yeah, this is where Link really shines. And I, I, I built up slowly and the comprehension went up. And from then on, I was also addicted in, in language learning and I've started using it for all the languages I'm learning. And I'm doing it on a daily basis. So I got my street goals and I'm learning each day a bit. Um, every consuming day YouTube I'm videos. Yeah, every day I'm linking YouTube videos, books, podcasts. I, I, I import all the stuff when I can and then I'm reading it at different points of time in the day in, when, I, when I'm, I don't know, when I, before I go to sleep, uh, when I'm sitting on the toilet, every, every time when there's time. I'm using Link. So that's kind of my story. And how are you using it, Max? Nice. And th that's how you got up to those great, amazing numbers. He'll probably show you in the video the, these amazing numbers that I was genuinely impressed by. So that's really nice. Uh, that's nowhere close to what Goffman has. <laughs> no, true, true, true. Yeah, but he's, he, he's 77 years old, you know, he has time. <laughs> true. Only uh, one more question, if I may ask you, is like, do you? I saw that you also read like whole books with Link, right? So how do you um, how do you balance, let's say, reading and listening outside of Link with reading and listening inside of Link? Yeah. So I always try to read and to listen to the content. So I try to never do only one thing, if possible, of course. And okay. uh, it, ca it can happen definitely that I'm only reading at link and then listen to the content at another platform. If it's more convenient to me, if I don't want to import all the audio files and make it nice and so on, because that takes time and I want to spend mm -hmm. more time with language learning and less time organizing stuff. But in general, okay. I really try to do both because otherwise it can happen that if you're only reading that you mess up your accent and your pronunciation going forward. Yeah. So. And the other way around, if you're only listening, then you probably might not be able to read, especially for languages where the written form and the spoken form is very different, like French, for example. Like French or even English is, is not that not True. that good in that, uh, in that respect. True, yeah. Yeah, yeah for me it's the same. So how I, um, how I use Link is I use it mainly actually to get started. So I use it to get um, uh, an overview of the alphabet. So in case of Persian, I, I used it to learn the alphabet, to match the, the script with the sounds and to get in uh, the most basic uh, grammar. So the simplest sentences, I try to read it and then I try to move on to the mini stories. And actually, um, I, I did that the same as you. I, I started learning Spanish because of my girlfriend and uh, and I did all kinds of things. So I started with normal grammar book and I forced myself to get up in the morning and do some grammar exercises. And then I did that for two days and then I, I didn't do it for two weeks and then I did it for one day and it just didn't work. And at one point I, I had lots of time and I started just Googling and watch, watching YouTube videos. And that's why I, I stumbled upon uh, Mr. Kaufman and uh, I Googled link and then I just decided to pay a subscription. And that was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because I just started reading in Spanish and I kind of became a grammar hater. So um, as that happens, I think, to many language learners is that they have the traditional approach first as the only approach in their mind. Then they find out about the other approach and then they become a grammar hater. So uh, they, they think that grammar is bad, right? So I was one of those people. And um, I started preaching about how bad grammar is and that you should only read and listen and that teachers are bad people and things like that. And um, and uh, so I, I, I've been doing that ever since. I started doing it for French and for German and for Persian. And I just used the mini stories. And then after that, I tried to go to complex content until I can read normal books. And as soon as I can read a normal book, uh, I, I stop using Link and I, I read normal books because I, I enjoy actually, I enjoy things without the computer uh, most of the time actually more than things on the computer, be it speaking or reading or listening. I like to be outside and, um, and that. So Link is for me a training area, right? It's like going to the gym. I like to, uh, you know, lift weights. I like it but I prefer climbing trees. Uh, it's like 
training wheels for your for your bicycle <laughs> yeah. that you then turn off and then you are it's like the training wheels for my bicycle <laughs> yeah yeah that's it nice nice yeah there's, there's also a different approach but I, i really like that um i also enjoy reading paper books that's a complete different experience and once you're able to do that without any help then you know that your comprehension is way up yeah right yeah yeah definitely. and also finishing a book like the physical thing it yeah. feels so good because like the last page is like yeah i did it <laughs> right true <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below if you like this video and if you would like to see more collaborations with max and also maybe other guests in the future make also sure to have a look at the second part of this video on max's channel and check out his channel in general he has lots of interesting language learning content to offer also please make sure to leave me a like and a subscription to the channel and do not miss anything going forward click also on the notification bell thank you very much for watching and see you the next time